everyone, and welcome back to Modern Sky Block 3. Since last time, we've done a lot of crafting, a lot of designing, for something that we're going to build. Not this episode, but in the next episode. Because in this episode, we're going to start out by not clicking the rod constructor. Sigh, I love you, but no. We're going to do that. Now, we need more of the experience because not everything can fit in your inventory at once. Ding. Claim. Ah yeah. Stage EU. Unlocked. Beautiful. Now I can take my stuff back out of this chest. <laughs> uh, there. I will be returning to Astral Sorcery eventually. But um, there are issues. It takes a lot of... I need my Chaos Gem. It needs a lot of power to make all the marble that I need to make this stuff. Um, and I don't have a way of getting that power automatically yet. So, in this episode, we're going to be going through extra utilities. Also, oh jeez, that's a lot of magical wood. Okay. <laughs> that unlocks open aether, which I also want to do soon, because open blocks is amazing. But... Um, extra, where is it? Extra utilities. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. So, this episode will just basically be going through this entire thing, hopefully, because I want to get this, these, this thing, the transfer node energy, and items, and transfer pipe, because all of this stuff is really good um, for what I want to do, because I want to automate canola as my main source of power. So, we can start off here, I keep moving in and out, let's just start off with this, the so transfer pipe and transfer nodes. And this episode, well, it's just going to be a lot of crafting. So, I'll go through some of the stuff, I guess. Um, start out with transfer pipes and um, changing the biome, I guess, that looks like a lot of stuff. Actually, that looks like too much stuff. Um, Oh, basic GP generation, that's what I should start with. This thing. The manual mill and the solar panel. So, that's what I'll do. Transfer pipes, the manual mill solar panel. That's what I'll start with, so I will get all of that stuff made, and we can be back. Alright, I have made the two things here. So, we got the manual mill and the solar panel. You can claim that, and made all the transfer pipes and stuff, too. You can claim that. Fertilizer, and trash cans. Trash cans aren't actually that bad, so it's pretty nice. Um, I will set this stuff up. The solar panels can go on the roof, like here, I guess. Um, sure. The manual mill, um, and all the other extra utilities, machines and stuff, I think I'll just stick in here, so, yeah. And I think it's becoming night, maybe? Windows? No, it's becoming day, so the solar panels will start working again soon. But, resonator, I think, is the next thing here that we really want to get for lunar reactive dust, stone burnt and red coal. So, uh, I'll get this resonator made and start making the chicken wing ring. That's hard to say. Holy crap. Chicken chicken wing ring. Chicken chicken wing ring. Chicken wing ring. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Alright, so resonator, chicken wing ring will be made uh, when we return. Alright, I got the stuff made, and I made this chicken wing ring that allows me to glide. Yeah. <laughs> Not that useful since we already have pure flight from the Chaos Gem, but I think it's okay. Uh, anyway, we did that. We got the resonator quest done, so we can claim that. And the chicken wing ring quest done, claim that too. Black or Lotus. Engineer Skyhook. A grappling hook? No? Left? Right? No idea. Um, okay then. Well, moving on here, we can make the ring of the flying squid. Um, I don't know if it'll let us go to angel ring yet. Angel ring? Um, maybe? Can we make Chris Lasso's? I think so. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. So I guess I guess it's just not a quest then. Um, that would be nice. So we have to make all of them. 
I think. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of generators. Okay, I'm going to use canola power anyway, so have fun with that. Uh, okay. I do definitely want to make these, though. Um, because the water mill's really good. The lava mill, I guess, is kind of good. Fire mill seems okay. But these definitely I want to get. And I have room for them in between the floors. So, perfect space to run water and lava and whatnot. So, I'm going to get these five made and we can set up the water mills. I'll make like three or four water mills, I think. Yeah, so that that's what we're going to do. Alright, so originally I was going to make all of the mills first before I set up any of them, but it takes a while to make stone burnt and the lunar reactive dust and stuff, so what I'm going to do first is make a water mill. Putting water there, sticking the water mill there. Generate 14? Why doesn't it make 16? Water's slowing on all sides. Alright. Does it want side blocks? I shouldn't do that because I need these for the floor. You know what? I'll just take the 14 because it's pretty good. Um, that one block is gone forever and I'll never see it again. But with the 14, now this can go much faster and fully automatically, even without me clicking the mill. So. I'll get a bunch more mills and stuff made. We can set them up and start generating more grid power. Alright, I have made all the generators here. Claim our loot chest, which is nice. Except the loot itself is not nice. It's actually quite bad. But <laughs> I can set up these lunar panels so I can generate more during night, even though day won't be affected. Also added in this windmill up here, which generates a little bit. It, it helps. Um, and down here, I have this set up for the water mills, so that each one generates 16, which is, I think, the max they can make. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's their max, so yeah, I can cover these up. Hopefully I have enough. Not if I do that, though. Um... No, I'm one short. Dang it. Oh well, I can chisel this cobblestone. There. Become trodden. There. Aha. <laughs> um, so this is going to keep making more stone burnt. And I will continue to add on water mills just to make this go faster. Because faster is always good. Oh, well, I might as well make some more stuff here. Um, I think mainly this mechanical user... Um, chant, that looks interesting. Magical wood's pretty useful. Some upgrades could be nice. Demon ingots are obtained by throwing gold into lava that's surrounded by nether bricks. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, you yeah, know, there's a lot of interesting stuff in inventory generators. That's also really weird. Capped at 5 RF per tick. Wow, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, okay. Dark glass I want to make, because that's really useful. Cursed earth I also want to make, because that's also really useful. Um, can you not do it with the dark of evil now? I don't, weird, I don't understand. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just start off with the uh, mechanical user here, and I'll make the ring of the flying squid too, just because just I want to, you know? Alright, let's make that stuff. I was originally going to make the Ring of the Flying Squid, but as it turns out, it requires a squid. <laughs> and I don't know if you've noticed here, but uh, there's not really a lot of space for a squid to spawn here. <laughs> so I'll have to make like a large pool of water or something in order to actually get a squid to spawn to use it, but oh well. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. But I did make the mechanical user, so that is very nice indeed. And we get another heavy plated shield that I'm not going to use. Cool. Um, what next? I think dark glass. I want to get a lot of dark glass. Um, I'll get some ethereal and dark glass. 
Um, yeah. It's with a dark glass, so I want to stick it onto here so we can see in the mob farm without disrupting its spawns. So, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I will get that stuff made, and we can see what happens. And I got a bunch of the glass made. The ethereal glass, I mean, it's interesting. I should get silk touch. Um, and you can walk through it. But it looks horrendous. And I would not ever consider using this for a window, because it looks terrible. Which is why ineffable glass exists, I guess. To make the same purpose, but not looking terrible. Which is pretty cool. It's nice that they did that. So we didn't have to live with that terribleness forever. Um, but I also have some dark glass here. So we can come on over to the mob farm area. And, like, know, right here, I'll just build a little window. And now we can see in. And I might make one there, too. Once all the mobs get out of it, don't explode. And there. Now we have another window. We can see in much easier now, and it looks pretty good too. And we have more things to claim here. Very good. Energy storage upgrade, and another black of lotus. Alright. We got this all windowed up now. We got, some we got a mechanical user made. All well and good. Um. Okay, that's interesting. I think let's go for some demon ingots now. They take a lot of nether brick, which is kind of annoying, um, and lava, but lava is pretty easy to get. Nether brick is obtainable. <laughs> not that easy to get, but it's not terribly difficult. So I made a bunch earlier. I don't remember where I put it. Here, maybe? No? Or is it still in the furnaces? Yeah, there's some. It's only enough for two pieces, but two pieces is better than no pieces, so. But yeah, it's a start. Though we will need more, uh, eventually. So, I will get... Where did my quest book go? Um, I'll get the stuff ready for some demon ingots, and we can make some. Curious to see, like, how they work. You know, I'll make the enchanter, too. Uh, you need to power it, which is kind of annoying, but I'll make the enchanter and I'll set up for getting some demon ingots. Alright, everything is set up and ready to go here. Just got the enchanter ready. And I made this area for getting some demon steel. Aha! Got two. Now I have ten. Amazing. It's pretty easy to make, actually. You just set it up once and then you can do it forever. So claim that reward, and I'll claim that reward because I made the enchanter too. And I think this uses actual power, so, uh oh. <laughs> um, I'll stick it down. Yeah, it does use actual power. Requires uh, a full set of nearby bookshelves or other enchantment boosting blocks. Interesting. Full set of slime armor again. <laughs> Great. That's fun. Um, we got that. Enchanted ingots coming with golden lapis and the enchanter. Okay. Um, and so we get magical speed upgrades, I guess. Um, that looks like a lot of work <laughs> to just get a chunk loader. Like, way too much work, in my opinion. Oh, uh, what else can we do here? Analog crafter and mechanical crafter? Only take up one block and don't use anything to work. Hey, it's almost like factory tech, but better. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, that's pretty useful. Uh, magical wood is also useful. What is the re- I'm curious what the recipe for magical wood is here. Nothing. It's literally nothing. Oh, this. Is that the only way, or can it be crafted? The internet probably knows. Magical wood extra utilities two. How is it made? Oh, just gold in the bookshelf? Requires four levels. Oh, that's really easy. Actually the levels would be kinda 
256? You need 800 levels to craft this thing? What the heck? <laughs> I mean, it's actually not that bad. You just get four levels and then get one level. Doesn't seem a lot. It seems a lot less difficult. Um, which is good. So otherwise it'd be kind of really hard. But I can use this to make tools. Interesting. Um, and a bunch of other random stuff. I don't really care about. Okay. So, what do I want to make now? In terms of continuing here. Um, I guess this stuff and the magical wood. That's what I'll do at the moment. So I'll get that stuff made. Alright. Got the magical wood made. It worked in the crafting table, but it did take levels, which is kind of annoying. But, oh well. I'll, I'll accept it and lose my 60-some levels that I had, but it's okay. Speed upgrades for Pneumaticraft, and a bunch of random junk. Alright, well, with the magical wood, it was 1 out of 256 no! made. Oh well. <laughs> 1 out of 256 made. I can stick that next to here. Does it work now? Oh, a full set of nearby bookshelves. Okay. One magical wood doesn't count then, I guess. But I also made the analog and mechanical crafters, so... If I ever need to auto-craft anything, that's how I'll do it. Aw, oh, yeah. I have no food. I should probably get that, but... Pam's Harvest Craft, going down the line. Remember now. <laughs> Remember, like, why am I out of food? Oh, yeah, that's why. Um, okay. We got that done. This looks like it'll take a lot of work. We can make the indexer. Indexer and indexer remote. I probably won't use it. This is also a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff there change the biome. This requires a squid. That looks like it'll take a lot also. Um, I need to make power, which I'll do in the next episode. This does... I can do this, actually. Increasing the amount of GP need for them to work. I can make them. Um, that looks doable. Okay. So, a lot left to do. I'm going to just go through one big flurry and complete everything that we haven't already completed that I'm actually going to do. So, this quest... The indexer, um, and the inventory generator, I think. Yeah, that looks good. All right, three more quests to do, and I'll get them all done now. All right, I made everything I said I was going to here. Inventory survivalist, done. EXU upgrades, done. And the indexer is done. Chance cubes, rare mega loot case, ooh, and cicadas. Armor? Is it any good? Health by four. That's pretty good. If I was not using this armor. Health by four. It makes resistance knockback. All right. Well, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory, so we should probably dump some of this stuff off, except in the right place, ideally. Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh. Okay. So, to end off the episode here, since it's around that time, um, let's make some food. I know, it's crazy. Making food? What? You don't eat. <laughs> You're an online personality. You can't possibly be eating. What are you talking about? It's forbidden by law. No, it's not. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm a highly trained and professional. Pam's... Harvest crop. Let's see. Blackberries. We need blackberries. We need candleberries. Raspberries. Okay. Start with that. Let's start with the blackberries. We'll just make everything the blackberry can make. Uh, here. Blackberry? That's a grape. It's not a blackberry. Where's a blackberry? <laughs> the, the Samsung phone? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, are blackberries Samsung? I think they are. If they're not, that was a really bad joke. Hopefully they are, though. Can you eat one? I'll make, like, juice and jam for my other two snacks here. Or jelly. Sure, I'll make jelly and juice. Amazing. Food. Cool. Ate some food. And, you know, I'll also make some blueberry jelly, since I have it in my thing already, and I don't have to make it. Yeah, full hunger. Let's, well, full hunger bar. That's what I'm going to say. And with that nice eating of food, I just realized I have little tiny chicken wings. That's funny. With that eating of food, I'm going to leave this here. 
Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. I promise the next episode will hopefully be more interesting. If you comment on any feedback you have for me, and I will see all of you later. Bye.